Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseOnMoon.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a linen bed skirt. This video today is in collaboration with my friend over at the Latina Next Door. She has the most amazing channel full of home decor ideas, lots of budget-friendly DIY type of projects over there. Some of her most popular videos are top 10 farmhouse style DIY ideas from Dollar Tree. So that's one you're going to want to check out if you are wanting to decorate your home on a budget. She also does a lot with paint, so she shows you how to completely transform floors with paint so you can take floors you already have that maybe aren't the prettiest, paint them. She has an awesome tutorial on that, how to paint kitchen cabinets, so many great ideas. We are both today going to be sharing farmhouse sewing projects. So after you view mine, go on over and see what she's making over there. I'm excited to go see. I think she said she, would, she had a couple options of things that she was going to show you how to make for DIY farmhouse decor. Now, I recently did a little update in my boys' room. We found some beds on Facebook Marketplace for $10 a piece. They are antique rope wood beds. And I'm really excited about them, but over time, the rope component that used to be what the mattresses would sit on actually was replaced with some iron or metal, steel, whatever, bars. And so we had to make a custom box spring for it, which was no big deal, or a custom platform. And then also, now that you can see that, and it's wood, and it's not the prettiest, um, because it's not stained, I wanted to make linen bed skirts to cover that. Making a bed skirt is a really, really easy project. You could do it for any size bed. The concept is the same. You essentially measure the bed and then create something on all four sides. All right, future me here. Really quick before I dive in and show you how I made the ones for the boys with the ties, I wanna show you how I made them for the girl's bed because it is likely a scenario that you will encounter which is just a basic regular bed. So just like with the boys, I measured the part that will go on the top and then I just created panels. So I wanted the bed skirt to be 21 inches down on the girl's bed. So I just cut them to the size of the box spring middle panel which is blue here but left an inch on each side to create a side hem and then I cut them to the 21 inch length and then sewed them down on all three sides with right sides together and then surged around the outside edges to finish them off. Wanted to do this quick demonstration so that you can see how to do it for any shape size bed and include both instructions here. All right, back to the tutorial for the boys' room. I'm going to show you how I did mine working around a special situation here like these bars because a normal bed skirt would not have fit. Also, I needed a more specific drop. Um, normally, I believe they come in about 15 inch drops where it's from the top of the box spring to the floor. Mine needed to be 19 and so making it this way really helped. I also added in some ties to make it a little bit pretty so let's dive into the tutorial for the fabric for these i ended up getting these tablecloths and the reason is that i worked out the price per yard on linen i just wanted 100 percent linen natural fabric and this worked out to be less than eight dollars a yard cheapest i could find and i will link these down in the description box but they also have hems so it will save me some time. You can of course adjust how you make these. If you don't have something already with hems, you'll have to add a hem allowance, which is usually just about an inch. But this, if you can get a hold of these, and I also wanted this done really quickly, so I just went and grabbed this at my local Target. But this is the cheapest that I found. I also grabbed one full sheet. I worked out the measurements. So my beds are 41 by 74 wide. That's how wide I need my, my skirt. And this flat sheet here is 85 by 96. So I can cut two down the middle for my 41 and then I have the length there as well. My total measurements for the box spring that we made because this is an unusual bed is 41 by 74. So that is what the main piece that I'm gonna attach the skirt to needs to be. Now the real reason that I need to make a custom skirt is I need some slits where these steel bars are here. 
um, because it has to come around that. So this might be one of the reasons why you would make your own bed skirt is custom situations like this. So I need a slit right at 16 inches from the end. So I'm gonna make a note of that in my phone. I will measure the other uh, steel supports for the same thing. And then I also wanna measure the fall. So this is how far down you want your bed skirt to go. In my case, I'm gonna measure from the very top of this frame down to the floor, and that will be my measurement. I believe mine's around 19 inches. cut out my 74 by 41 for the main piece. Now you'll want to add a half inch on all sides for seam allowance. So for my 74 by 41, I did 75 by 42. More on that in a minute. Also, I am keeping the hemmed edge for the top because I'm not gonna put a skirt panel at the top of the bed because it's against the wall. Nobody's ever gonna see it. So I wanna leave this nice hemmed edge for that. I also didn't cut off the side hems of the sheet because I will just attach my skirt right to this. It just gives it a finished edge versus having to zigzag or serge. I'm always a fan of taking advantage of hems. For my bed skirt, I am working around the steel bars, as you know. So I need to make three separate sections, a 16, a 42, and a 16. I'm going to hem them at each spot here so that it will have a nice slit opening and then I'm going to place a piece behind it. If you are making a very simple bed skirt that does not have this complicated here, you'll just make one long panel that is the full length to attach to your part that goes on top of the box spring, the part that I cut out from the sheet. Also keep in mind if you want to do a ruffle versus just a flat panel to multiply this number here, so in my case 74 by 1.5, that'll give you enough length to create gathers. Or if you wanna add a couple of pleats somewhere, maybe in the corners or some places people add pleats, uh, you'll want to account for that. But I'm just going to do something very basic. I'm going to create four at 16 inches for here, two at 42, and then one at 41. Now, with each of these, I need to give hem allowance. So I'm going to cut this first panel here 18 inches, and that will allow me to do one inch hem on this side, one, in, one inch hem on this side. This one I'm gonna cut 44, and this one 18. So I'm gonna cut out four at 18, two at 44, and then one at 40 three, which is 41 plus two inches for hem allowance. Now, because I'm using a tablecloth that already has hems, this is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to add the hem allowance onto one side because it's it's going to be a hem already. One side's gonna be cut. If you are just using a tablecloth and you're just doing a straight panel across, you probably only need to allow for one hem on one side. So basically just every time you have to add a hem, add an inch, and if you don't have to add a hem, just don't add anything. I addressed the width that I'm cutting out. I want a 19 inch drop, which is the top of my box spring down to the floor. My tablecloth already has a hem, so I don't need to add a hem allowance. I will need to add a little allowance to attach it here at the top, so that I'll add a half inch. So I will be doing a length of 19.5. If you do not have something that already has a hem, like a curtain, you'll want to add an inch to the bottom as well, in which case you would want 20.5 for a 19 inch drop. Oh wait, I have help. I got help, this is wonderful. You want to help me? Oh, sure. I love help from toddlers. Micah, do you like helping me? Yeah. Good. I can do that. Do you know what I'm making? What? I'm going to make your bed into a fort. Your bed, if you go underneath of it, will be like a fort because there's going to be a skirt all the way around it. Oh! Are you excited about that? Yeah. I also cut out four strips five inches wide to go behind the panels where they meet to go around the steel support. So let me show you, now that everything's cut out, how this is all going to sew up.
Okay, so I have my piece that will be finished as a 16 inch piece. I have to hem it on one side, so I made it 17 inches. I did have one already hemmed side. I have my five inch piece that's gonna go in between that and my 42 inch finished piece that I made 44, so that I can hem it on both sides. And then finishing with my other five inch piece and 16 inch piece. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hem them on the side. So this will be pressed over a half inch and another half inch and sewn up for a hem. I will do the same on both sides here. And then I will sew it to this middle part with right sides together. So the way it'll actually go together, all the finished hems will be this way, raw edges on this side, and I will sew along the long side. I also do have this 43 inch piece for the front, and I'm just going to leave the back completely blank. On this corner in the front where I'm attaching the front panel and the sides, I left a little spot here at the end where I pinned this, and I'm going to pin this right here so that when I sew down this way, this one will come like this, and this one will come like this all the way down. I also wanna show you my little strips. This is just to fill in a little bit of a space here. So I'm gonna sew all the way down both long edges with these pieces pinned like this. I went upstairs to try this on the boys' bed and decided that these strips would look great if there wasn't a bar that completely obstructs them. So they'd be a good addition if you are going around the legs or something like that, but not if you have a bar. I am going to take these five inch strips out and just instead keep it to where the 16 inch piece meets the 42 inch piece. Sew that up and then I also decided after trying it on the bed that I'm going to add a few ties to make it go around the steel bar. So this is just to make it go around the metal bar. So if you do need to make a custom bed skirt, I do recommend going back and forth and just seeing how things are fitting. But so far this is working out great. Next, I'm going to finish all of the raw edges all the way around this bed skirt with a zigzag stitch or a serger. Now a serger is better, but I don't wanna get mine out and thread it. So I am gonna use a zigzag stitch here on my machine. You don't really wanna skip this step because otherwise, if you do, whenever you go to wash your bed skirt, which if you were doing this for little kids, might be more often than you hope, you will definitely experience some fraying. I decided to create some linen ties to give it a more custom feel and to wrap it around the bars that I have here on these beds. To do that, I cut out strips of linen 18 inches by two inches wide. I folded the top part over about a half inch, folded it in half with right sides together, stitched down the long edge, and then turned it out with the safety pin. I put a top stitch all the way down the long edge, and then I just sew them to the back of where my two pieces come together. I made eight ties like this, so that way I could tie it together in the four areas where it covers those bars. Right 
right well i hope that i have inspired you to tackle making your own bed skirt for any drop size any size of a bed so if you get something antique like i did normal twin beds today are 38 inches wide a twin bed that i got which is antique is 41 also the two beds i got for my daughters they're also 41 so it seems that with the four antique beds that i bought they're all just not standard if you are going to shop for antique furniture this will be something that you will encounter and i honestly highly recommend shopping for antique furniture i've bought cheap beds over the years brand new from big box type stores and they just did not hold up these antique pieces you can find them on facebook marketplace or at garage sales and they're heavy and solid and they're worth the extra time that it takes to make something like a bed skirt from scratch all right well thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to go check out the latina next store and all of her amazing DIY projects and home decor. She definitely has a knack for budget-friendly projects and decor, and I think that you will really love her. If you came over from her channel, welcome. Thank you so much. I hope that you hit that subscribe button. I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.